Welcome to the podcast, guys. Big, big first podcast today, mainly oh, because we yes. finally gave away Nova's first class and 50K. That was absolutely delicious. I've got to be honest, Kihan. Kian. Kian. I, I really thought, Rick, I thought you didn't have a chance in hell. I thought it was down to Tim and I, and honestly, I thought Tim didn't have a chance in hell either. And Kian pick Paris. Who doesn't want to go to Paris though? Me. I would I would love no. you would have a we would have a wonderful time in Paris. Put True. your hand mm. down. Gay Paris. I would have two cigarettes and uh, one baguette. And... I would even start smoking <laughs> if we went to Paris. Oh, I would smoke those really long thin Skinny ones. Cigarettes. Oh, oh yeah, with like the, like the holder on it like Cruella de Vil. I start throwing all the rules out the window like all of my diet rules that like all the things that make me sick in Paris I or in throw... France. I'm like yeah I don't think this will make me sick today. I throw out yeah, all my fashion fine. rules because what I decided to do is I'm like, yeah, I can pull off that. So like when I was in Italy and everyone was wearing like light blue um, suede loafers everywhere, I'm like, I'm just going to buy some because that looks like that's something I'll do. And then I wore them <laughs> the whole time I was in Italy and as soon as I got I back home, it. I threw them out. Like, like, this gross. gross. You are loose. <laughs> loose. Oh, oh, actually, Gemma, what, what was the name of that lovely lady that listens to the podcast that we met at Wicked last night? I want to give a shout out to um, to this lady that we Elena? met last night. Elena? <laughs> Elena, 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 yeah, she was a big fan of the podcast, big fan of you both, and um, had a photo with you. You have to lie. Hey, go, hey. You have to lie. No, she genuinely that. was, wasn't she, Gemma? That's big why fan of you both. Big yeah, fan she loved. Oh, she loves Tim. Be and more I, throw away if you tried. Yeah, when <laughs> oh, she said she loved Tim, I was like, mm, okay. Well, the, the, really? of the three. Is that right? Oh, no. Of the three, that's the one you like. Oh, oh, I, I get it. What about you, Elena? Well, remember the, my friend who I found out is like a closet obsessed fan of our show. Yeah, has been listening to the show and all of the iterations forever. Yeah, um, oh God, she's so obsessed many. with Tim. Yeah, in love. I know, with it's Tim. weird. Tim's like the Carl Sanderlands of the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I like. That's, Is that what right? I t- that's what I tell people. Do you? You're you, very similar. You both you both you panel, just, you both have very strong thoughts yeah, about things. He doesn't eat around a while. But he doesn't eat anywhere near as much hungry jacks. No, I know. Coke. <laughs> oh my god, the, the cans of coke that that man can put away. I always shooketh by the amount and size of the bags of hungry jacks or KFC or whatever McDonald's that come through the doors at Idol and wa- waft past my dressing room on the way to Kyle's every single day we're filming. Ooh, and they there's they me look with my good on the front of Stella salad. magazine this week, but I've got to say, oh, listen great. to Jason Lauren, don't be idiots, listen to Jason Lauren, Fitzy Whipper and Kate, you know, don't yeah. muck around, don't yeah. make me angry. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and, and then podcast another show if you'd like to, but just listen podcast to us on the radio. Podcast another show, but listen to the Nova shows, otherwise I'll be real grumpy with you. Well, we You're all going to be real we don't grumpy, want to be grumpy. You? All right, enjoy no, the podcast, guys, please, grumpy. enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Okay, Let's go and buy some of those French cigarettes, just pretend we're Let's in France. Let's just do it. <laughs> I've got to get those CDs to you, actually, can you bring my jacket as well? I really yes. think I might start smoking this year. Has, it got, has, it, got, it, has it got a cigarette pocket? I'm going to start smoking this year. Yeah. But you have to. <laughs> but if you're going to do that, you have house. to exclusively smoke skinny long cigarettes. 100% and I'll just smoke. Yeah, just no douche smoke. flutes. That's it. No, no absolutely it's gross, not. mate. No, I mean, Vaping smoking is disgusting. Is also, well, smoking I is agree. terrible for you, but I can see you smoking long skinny cigarettes. Smoke with your head, not over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've only got a couple of years left. You might as well go out with a bang. <laughs> Smoke I remember, responsibly. I remember the days when <laughs> mum used to smoke her Winnie Reds. Can we wrap this up? Oh, fine. Yeah, no, go tell me about the Winnie Reds. I want to hear about smoke the Winnie Reds. In the car, Four, windows up, Winnie three. Reds. Like, <laughs> yes, <seven>. Loretta. <laughs> this is Ricky Lee, Tim and John. TGIF. Thank God it's Monday. Monday afternoon. Oh. For what ails you on a Monday. Here we go. After the weekend, yes. we're up with friends. What up, what up, what up? Hanging yo, yo, up yo. With yo. Friends. Today's the day that someone picks London in first class in 50 k No, 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 my friend. New York, it is the Big Apple Crunch. You guys are cooked. Paris, it is. Come on. Hang on, no. did you just say crunch? Yeah, oh, big, apple, big apple, big apple. Big apple. You're going to start the week like that. Well, you know, in Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, they hold oh the God, diamonds. But in Real Housewives of New York, like they hold, hold, hold apples. <laughs> we can start the week however we want. I am one third of this show, and Ricky Lee will be on board, I have no doubt. So that's two against Mostly one. Mostly because I hate confrontation, so sure. These sentences that start with, you know, on Real Housewives of Who Cares? Um, so, sorry, Blackers, but there's like thousands of Housewives franchises against the world, so you might perhaps be in the minority. Oh, no, I am, but I didn't want to start the week that way. That's 
that's all. I don't want to start the week with these ridiculous named people I've never heard oh, of before, okay. like well, Doritos and week. Twisties. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Doritos is her name. <laughs> well, How do you want to start the week? What about um, Countess Luann? What do you I think of her? I want to start the week with saying how gorgeous you all look. Um, oh, and, shut up. And also, especially you, Joel. You look stunning today with your quiff and your swoosh. And then, and then old mate over oh. here has got just so <laughs> many freaking words on her T-shirt. Shut up! I don't, it's, it's like, you know what? It's like I'm at the GP doing an eye exam. Oh, my God. Well, can you, well, can you read this? Yep. What does it say? It says PE Nation. No, it doesn't. Oh, it does. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it says physical. It says PE Nation at the top. I didn't even see that it said that. Yeah. I just saw the physical. I was like, I like that. Shout out to Pip Edwards and the team. Hey, doing a great yeah. job with that T-shirt in particular. Yeah, but you don't mm. like it. Tell her what you really think. I don't like yeah. it on you. It's you confronting. <laughs> Oh, t- Black, is your, your, you're starting very, like, you know... No, he doesn't you're, you're, like... This is what's happened. I've bought a few new T-shirts and I've problem. started putting them in the mix. Every day. We know that our old friend over here, Tim Blackwell, does Hates not change. like change. So yes. I've come in here two days in a row, Friday... And now today, in new attire, and he hates it. He can't stand it. He can't deal Joel, with we, it. It's we got too to, much for we his got brain. To, we fell in love with Ricky in a little bobbly track pants and the little T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, and a socket. And, and a big but trench. A pop, and so now she comes in with an Amy Shark hairdo, sockets. sockets. <laughs> and some well, she got some range on that leg or not range. <laughs> I am very it. flexible. Yeah. Oh, you should see like what Christmas. I can do with these things, Joel. Oh. <laughs> anyway, back to the important business of the day. First class 50K, you can't get on the standby list anymore. After five o'clock, one hour from now. Oh my gosh, check ins cl- cl- check-in shot closed. Oh my god. It's an hour before the flight. <laughs> check in shot. <laughs> if you receive a phone call <laughs> from a private number, answer it. Please answer it. Don't listen to all those scammer scaremongers. We're currently loading your bags onto the plane. Oh my god, get to the lab. Answer the phone after five o'clock, the biggest prize ever. Only f- an hour away. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Yeah. On Nova. How good is that? Ella Henderson with Rudimental and Alibi. Just going to say one more time, just because I love bragging and gloating, that was mm. one of my New Music Friday picks when it first came out. Thank well, you. I'll take it. Don't I can you take the rest of the day off. I'm the prize. <laughs> oh, and actually, I like while, winning everything. While we're taking credit for things, <laughs> yes. Rudimental were on my podcast just as that song, song came out. So we would talk about Alibi yes. on the podcast. Were they rude and or mental? <laughs> no. But someone say, oh, I knew about that song before. For you. Oh, and wait, 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 wait. the song's me. called Alibi. Does she have an alibi? <laughs> For what? Why would she need an alibi? <laughs> so you're saying she does not have an alibi? I won't play the whole thing, but you get it. Mm. Uh, welcome to the show. It is a Monday, and we are giving away first class 50k. We're doing that at <gasps> so five excited. after the news. I will be on time for the news today. Okay. Yes. I've made some adjustments with this hour. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. And make sure you have a I fresh passport. It. No water bunks. Yeah, no, Joel. Nothing. I know. Are we talking about that yet? Or? Well, we can if you like. I'm going to Sweden on Saturday to, to um, cover Eurovision, and I currently don't have a passport. Oh, my God, Joel. You really know how to cut it fine and just add extra stress into your life, I don't know, you? I know. <laughs> Beautiful Belinda at the passport office. If you're, if you're listening, I bloody love you, and anything you can do, I'll, I'll do it. Um <laughs> Anyway, but also it was quite a lame reason because it was a power aid. A power aid. One of those. One of those. Se- a power aid leaked through my bag. I was running from one gig to the other. Mm-hmm. The page is fine. It's just everything else is watermarked, and they're so strict. They these really days. are. I saw. You know, I love my jersey and Geordie Shaw. Yeah. Um, one of the girls from Geordie Shaw. Vicky, mm, yeah. she had her like a dog, her dog like munched on just the outside corner of like one of. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that'll and, be. It and that was enough. it. Yep. That was that was the end of end of her trip. I had a guy in the I... UK last year who said to me, "Oh, the reason you're uh, because you know how you have the e passport thing, so you don't have to wait." Yeah, love them. They, the They're guy great. goes, "Oh, it didn't work. You, you must have your phone really close by. You must have your phone near it." I'm like, okay, what? sure. And then I just used the next one and went beep and I opened up. <laughs> oh, how strange. See, I had to rip like this and this, this, And I'm piece, sure right? you'd let it go. Did you let no, it go? I, I went like this. I went, I went. I, I, had knew, a, I, I did. Knew. I did. There's not a chance that you would have walked away from that man and that experience without no. really rubbing his face in it. <laughs> oh, God. I just, got the, I just got a text from a certain someone. Is it, Sub- is it good news? Submitted. <laughs> Thank you to that person if they're listening, but I know you won't be. Um, yeah, I had a tiny rip once, had gone through customs in Melbourne, had had l- l- breakfast in the lounge, and then as I got to the gate, I stupidly said to the flight attendant, mm. um, oh, be careful with this passport, she's an old girl, oh, and God. he turned me away. 
Oh, what? Didn't even get on the flight. And then in front of everyone was trying to set an example and was like, so is he, is, is he getting on? He being Jack, my boyfriend. Is he getting on? Is he getting on? And we're like, give us two seconds to work out what's happening right now. Um, neither of us got on. Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Fun. Love is funny. That's Do you want my bride story or have we gone over that now? No, no, no. We're going to get to it next. Okay. Um, I want to know how quickly the relationship ended. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, better twenty-four joy. ten is the number. <laughs> How I'm quick! On, did I'm you in the best mood now. F the relationship. Thirteen twenty-four ten is our number. Give us a call. Teddy swims. Lose control on a Monday afternoon. TGIM. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Sunday. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on a Monday afternoon. We're asking how quickly did you. Up the relationship, oh thirteen twenty four ten. How quickly did you up the relationship? Oh, that was beautiful. Well, that was, I know. That, that was, was so close. close to the sun there. I know. This, these are some really quick ones. I mean, I don't. I don't think I've ever had really, every relationship I've been in has gone for years. Yeah, some some go for longer than they should though, because yeah. you just don't quite know how to get out of it, even though you know you want to. Yeah. Well, that, I'm speaking for myself anyway. Yeah. No, we're not rich. He's great. <laughs> yeah, cool. This is this is very Britney Spears. This story: a new um, a new bride has filed for divorce after being married for just one day. Remember when she did the Vegas? Oh wedding? yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, what yeah. she got that annulled, didn't she? Yeah, I think you so, find yeah, out Clooney. Yeah, <laughs> you find out that Vegas marriages are only legally in Vegas. So a lot of people get married at like their local town hall first, and then they go oh, get married. Oh, I didn't know that because oh. I believe still they're only legal in that state. Julia Morris in Nevada. got married in Vegas. Nevada. Uh, Nevada. Did she? Yes. And though they just to Robert Irwin. Only... <laughs> yeah, you'd think so. No, they've just split though. She did a great stand-up show about it. And then she um, said, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Oh, yeah. They were married for a long time, they weren't they? They were married for a very long time, yes. I remember going around to their house for dinner when I knew I was on I'm a Celebrity. How embarrassing is this? I knew I was on I'm a Celebrity. I went around to Julia Morris' house for dinner and was like, hey, just between us, I'm doing I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. Because I knew she'd done really well on Celebrity Apprentice and I was looking for a bit of her advice. <laughs> and she's probably sitting there the whole time being like, you dickhead, I'm hosting the show. I know you're on it. And I'm like, just between us. I'm, I'm just, you know, if you've got any, any pointers. Um, anyway. Anyway, this bride only had one rule for her wedding day, and that was her new husband didn't rub cake in her face at the reception because that seems to be a thing. I think that's yeah, such I don't a like that. stupid I hate thing. That stuff. Why do people do that? What's the. Well, they want to uh, just like finger cake into your mouth. Yeah, but like. You, you, I don't mind you, you, it. You just said I do. You've just, and yeah, all of a sudden you've got a mouthful leave of. Leave that for later when everyone's gone home and you're back in the room. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You know, rub whatever you want all but over food, each other. Food and sex, even. Yeah, gross. Too much. No, this gets, it gets a bit worse. After they cut the cake, he grabbed her by the back of her head and shoved her head down what? into the cake like what? a cream pie. I shouldn't be laughing. Like a cream the pie. Of, yeah, it's, a bit like, again, it's a bit like That's a green, green pie. Be very careful saying that. Well, the bride immediately left the reception and the next day she oh, told she him that should. the relationship was over. Wow. Karen, yeah. cake in the face. Um, firstly, before you tell us your story, Karen, are you a, are you a food in the bedroom kind of girl? Ooh, I've never done that. Is it good, Tim? <laughs> we love you, Karen. We love you, Karen. I'll, I'll meet you at Aldi later and we'll find out <laughs> together. Um, you got married in Vegas, did you? Yeah, I got married in Vegas in 2005 by the almighty Elvis at the Grace Kings Chapel. Oh, oh my gosh, heaven. how fun. Did you have friends and family there or was it? did you elope with you and your husband? We, we eloped. Good, good on so, you. Yeah, we got married and then rang the family afterwards and go, guess what we did today? Oh, so brilliant. Did the, Elvis wedding and then went to Macca's afterwards. Oh, I love, oh, I love that yes. so much. Rich, Go see Rich the 100% the suggested that we do that. Yeah. That and feels up your alley, like what you ended up doing also looks up your alley. Yeah, because yeah. he was like, we can just go and get married. We can do that. We can go and have Macca's or we can just go to a restaurant, just the two of us. And the only reason I didn't is because I didn't want to sit in a restaurant in my wedding dress, just the no. two of us. Oh, no, of course, our lame. It's hard for the paps <laughs> as well. Wedding dress, Ricky. I had on like um, my little Adidas trainers that I just yeah. and <laughs> a denim short. And a fancy love- thing with oh, yeah, she's the cheap in the States. I love Hey, Karen, that. can you answer this though? Is it true that your wedding's only legal in Nevada and you had to actually get married at home as well? No, no, our wedding was marriage certificate was accepted as name changes and everything. Oh, wow. Yeah. There you go. Nice one. Thank yeah. you, Karen. Thank you. All right, we are very close. To give me my first glass of 50k. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, After five. Keep your phone on. Thank God.
Friday is Monday. T G I M. T G I M. Yes. This is Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel on Nova. L A L A L A L A. What's happening in Los Angeles? Well, you oh. you've been through L A X. My favourite, right? It's Ooh, a very it's fun not my airport. F- oh, no, I don't like L A X airport. Oh, what a fun so much fun at L A X. I was detained. What? You were detained. Oh, Not for being too good story? looking. What's that story? I was told to sober up before I was allowed to enter the oh, US. Oh, that's right. That's that the best that. thing I've ever heard. I was Wedding from you went to. LA to Mexico. So they were getting rid of me anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, I, I, I got on that plane on Friday night, Your Honor, or whatever you call them. And I, I, was, I got off the, on yeah. that plane on Friday night. And it's my first day of holidays. So, of course, I celebrated. And, and everyone also, that gets of off those planes is shit faced. Also, oh. breath test the pilot if I've heard the rumours. <laughs> Don't press yes, oh, mate. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Not on Qantas. The Spirit of Australia. They, they do wonderful work. Oh, that's work. so fun. Yeah, so the guy actually made me... He knew my flight was leaving in two hours, my connecting flight, and he made me sober up and took my phone and everything. What did he give oh, you? A little coffee and a donut or something? Coffee. Um, I sat and watched KTLA News. I love, I love all the car chases on KTLA. It's I know. There's always, always a car chase on. Guess who was on KTLA News breakfast last week at the end Kate of last Langbrook. week? No. Smallsy. Richard Wilkins and Christian Wilkins. Oh, we weren't far off, to be honest. <laughs> that was just the most random pick I could think of. Well, what Angela Bishop? Your story um, really Okay, today. So, so this woman has just gone to the airport. She is going off. Mm-hmm. She has made a real scene at LAX because she was upset that Delta booked her flight for the next day after she missed good, good her room. initial. Yeah, Delta. Delta Goodrum. She was flying Delta Goodrum. Um, so she missed her initial flight and then yes. they booked her, they rebooked her on a flight for the next day and she went off. Get me what? off on the next motherfucking flight, seriously. <laughs> and pay for that shit. Oh. Pay for that shit. Oh, yeah. The, the, That's, what, if she missed the show, she missed the flight herself. But but this is what's funny. Mm-hmm. She was on it. She was, she was yelling at people about the Delta flight that she was on, but she was standing at the West Jet. She was at the Samantha J counter. <laughs> oh, she, was the wrong, she was yelling at the wrong she airline. She was yelling at the wrong oh. people. Oh. She was, I get it. She's angry. She just wanted yeah. to get where she was going. But That's the Zoe babes. Badley counter, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flying Havana Brown. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Havana Brown, wow, hey. Mailbag after this. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Smallsy has your ultimate Billie Eilish fan experience in the US tonight after 8 o'clock. Ooh, what yes. is that experience? I'm going to be hanging with Billy and her girlfriend. Oh, Smallsy, Smallsy knows his stuff. He's, I love his little contact book. She's yeah. got her I'd love to go through pulse. his phone. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's got her finger on the pulse. Smallsy. Billy. Oh, Smallsy does, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy. <laughs> Lady Smallsy. Well. Billy also. Her Lady new Smallsy. album is not too far away either, I don't think. Yes, that's right. I can't remember the date. But I always May get very um, patriotic and excited when I hear that song and hear our um, our little crossing. It's so good. It's a good little story, that one. I love it. I love that. Are you ready for this? It's called Mailbag. The mail's here. Mailbag. Monday, so let's check the mailbag. I sent a message. RTJ at NovaFM.com.au. Slide into our DMs. Just up on the socials or text us 0409. RTJ. RTJ, or you physically yeah. post stuff to us. I don't know if I should be touching this. What? I've heard about this. You've got Am something I going physical. First? Look. Yeah, you are going well, first. Okay. Uh, my mailbag is for actually one and only Tim Blackwell. Oh. Okay. And it's, it's a thing. It, it's a physical it's thing. It's got... It's got Christmas wrapping on it, so I don't know how when it's specific wrapping. when it specifically arrived. Christmas they spent not, one dollar, two dollar, three. They spent three dollars sixty on on um, stamps, okay. the cute oh little wallab- wallabies and stuff. Anyway, um, I'm opening it up. <laughs> okay, All right. I'm so excited! Why is this so, so first fun? Up I wish there have... was a camera over your head that was like unboxing. It's CDs. Oh, so oh first CDs. Up, we have from the Audio Archive Collector's Edition, Ella Fitzgerald, a tisca, a tasket. Oh, there wow. we go. That's one for you. Hang on, but, but can why? I ask, is there a note attached? There is no note attached. It's just You've to just me. randomly got yeah. an Ella Fitzgerald CD. Yeah, it gets weirder. Oh, I love okay. living for this. this then is we have a CD single <laughs> yeah. right? of She Bangs by Ricky Martin. <laughs> 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 
Hang on, what? Are these meant What's to be the some theme? kind of theme? Yeah. No, I don't think there is a theme because the next one, just have a guess. Chumbawamba tub thumping. Nah, so far off the mark. You have a guess, Blackers. I, I got no idea. Angels by Robbie Williams? No. <laughs> Fergie's album, The Duchess, the entire album. So the whole album. Ricky Martin was a single, but she bangs. This is the whole Duchess album. You got hits like Fergalicious, um, and that's London an album Bridge. that used to be thirty five dollars. Yeah, glamorous. Hang on, is this from? I know there's no note, but is, is it from someone? We can this say thank you. This is from someone. On no, the back. From, but does it say unknown on the back? person? No, we, we've done our research. We're not. We're not stupid. Oh, hang on. Apparently, it's a limited edition Fergie cover. Is she coming yes, out of a cake? Australian tour edition features oh. all the hits and bonus remixes. <laughs> wow. Well, you know how he knows about that. Very quickly, as a little side note, I remember when Jermaine first started on the show, I just gave him my quadruple deluxe oh, I remember this. George Michael vinyl. Yes. I just gave it to him because I thought, oh, well, you're gay. <laughs> Have that. Enjoy, thing. sister. And then it was worth like $999. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> anyway, be careful okay. with that Fergie CD is what I'm saying. Three more CDs. Now these what? are burnt. These are burnt. These aren't. Oh, these are like mixtapes. They're burnt. Mixtapes. They're, like, they're, so, they're like they're like love letter mixtapes. Yes, this yes. one's Dean Martin Essentials 2019. 26 Whoa. songs. Oh my Dean goodness. Martin. The I next one we've got. All this. We've got the Andrew Sisters Gold 1993. What? 14 songs. They've written audio CD just in case I was confused. It was some other sort. Well, it might of have CD. been a DVD. It could have been something you pop in and watch. It could have been a home video, a POV, your favourite. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I don't know. Some, I feel gross touching this. Some off air. I just don't It's your favourite thing to say. I still love saying POV. Okay. Well, finally, <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally. Oh, Billy Holiday, Platinum Collection, 2020 <laughs> or 2019 <laughs> songs on that one. Yeah. Now, this person's written Paul Jenny on all these albums. Do you reckon it's from Paul Jenny? Who's Paul Jenny? Paul oh, Jenny. Paul Jenny. Or Paul Jenny. Jenny. Oh, Paul oh, poor Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> oh, Paul Jenny's coming oh, over You've met here. Jenny. She's not Paul. <laughs> um, okay. So I've got your six CDs. I love that. Thank you. Are you sending them in internal mail for me? Oh, no, you're coming up to Sydney. I'm, I'm, I'm up in Sydney oh, on actually, Thursday, well, Friday. I keep forgetting this. Can you bring my jacket? Yes, I can. If you can yeah, quickly Because I really want show. to wear it on the weekend. You can quickly and plug I my couldn't... show and I'll... Okay, Boom is coming to uh, Sydney's Emmore Theatre on Friday, uh, livenation.com.au, and then on to other places. I know, and I'm doing a lot of press this week, so you might want to get in now before I do all the. All but the please bring my jacket up, because it's yes, a really I good will. jacket for it's this time my of year and, in Sydney in and, particular. And maybe the thing for the ice bath. <laughs> Well, that could be nice. Shut up, Ricky. Honestly, I thought I'd gotten away with it until you... Oh, I just always... Okay, anyway, okay I'll also, buy you a new ice bath. Also, can we find this Paul Jenny Thank fellow? You, Gemma. Gemma's I... been looking. She can't find Paul Jenny. Also, well, Paul Jenny, if you're listening, we want to know why you sent those to Tim. Yeah, yeah 192410. I feel like... No, 132410. Uh, Richard, oh Richard Kingsmill and Triple J and all the unearthed CDs. <laughs> Except it's well, Billy Holiday and Dean Maybe one looks very used. Maybe on Friday we only play songs from no. Paul Jenny's collection. <laughs> now, I, I, I want to revisit this moment from last week, the gay gasp. Can you imagine the gay gasp I let out? Incredible. Does it sound like this? <laughs> <laughs> no! So I'll do a gay gasp for you. Okay. Do mine, do mine, do mine. <clears throat> oh. Okay. So we got some feedback around that, did we? A lot of comments on that over the weekend. Well, is this a letter from the bosses? Please stop playing that noise. <laughs> uh, oh, this That's is going to be a our, th- this is our new um, correct and wrong buzzer. So it goes correct, incorrect. Oh, um, or maybe that is correct, <laughs> and that's incorrect. Um, hey team, this is from Brendan. I was oh. just listening to your podcast while I was cooking dinner, and I was practicing my gay gasp. <laughs> I had my headphones on, so I wasn't really aware of my surroundings. After my fourth attempt of gay gasping, my partner came running into the kitchen naked and dripping wet. He took the knife out of my hands and pulled my headphones off with an extremely panicked look on his face. He was in the bath and heard me gasping. He thought, I cut my finger off. I now have nailed my gay gasp and use it daily to get his attention. It's a very handy skill to have. Thanks, team. That's from Brendan. Oh, oh Brendan, did, did he send a voice note? Gay his... gasp. Yeah, Brendan, send us your gay gasp. I want to hear it. Look at you with voice notes being top of mind because your voice note sending is really out of control. Oh, oh. I send one voice Every note. Every day. No, I don't. <laughs> hey, like, voice note me. You know, I like voice notes. Okay. You're, you're I'm a voice one, note. I'll send you can one. I play the, can I play the one from today? I didn't swear in it, did I? I, I, can't, I can't be sure. <laughs> um, Rich legitimately has this song on while we're eating lunch. 
<laughs> never ending story it's while you're eating lunch. Never. Oh my god, I felt bad about the voice note I sent you, Ricky, after oh you've been god, in Joel. hospital. And I was like, hey, babe, I was just seen you've been in hospital. Hope you're well. Anyway, Comedy Fest was going really well. I had a really good out night last night. Blah, 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 blah. It blah. was so long. <laughs> By the time it finished, I forgot most of the things that you had started talking about. It <laughs> might have been the painkillers I was on. My eyes were rolling in the back of my head. <laughs> but it was, it was very long. But I do love a voice note. I yeah, like me them. Too. I me like too. them a lot. I think I and like I, them more than text. Although I've got a friend who I, I gossip with on voice notes and she I always see her save my voice note. And well, I'm so like, you, I, save them, I, save no, I save them too because I might want to I might back. not have time to listen to them or I might not have been able to listen to it in full and I'm gonna come back and listen but to if it. I see you save a gossipy one, I'm like, oh no. Yeah. Like no, you don't do that, but if my, But I just wouldn't send Janelle, anything. if you're listening in Perth, you do that and stop it, please. But just don't send anything that you can ever be worried about, you know? Oh, what do they say? That line. If you no, don't want to see it on the front of the paper, don't send it. Or something like that. Oh, I'm, did, I'm desperate did for Carl the PR. Tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's one of them, certainly. <laughs> uh, finally, you got something from Mandy there, Ricky. Yeah, I, I love this so much. Mandy sent us a Facebook message. This lawnmower company is called Tim the Lawnmower Man, and I'm convinced it's blackers. Look what this guy is carving out on the grass. <gasps> oh, my gosh. A big, oh, oh, my goodness. A big, dirty pain. It's not that big. April I mean, is Testicular big, Cancer I mean, Awareness Month. Oh, that's go. cool. Oh, that's oh, nice. it's for a cause. I love that. There you go. Hey. Uh, send your messages. Sky. RTJ, nobrefm.com.au or our socials. That was fun. And what's our CD person? Paul Jenny. Paul Jenny. Paul Jenny. Let's Come shout out for you, Paul. Come on, Paul Jenny. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Antidote, would you like to tell the nation what you just said? <laughs> As well, that you just said we've got her. a bit of time here, and I said, "Can I go to the bathroom?" As in to chat. To chat, bro. <laughs> oh my god! On gosh. the radio. <laughs> well, in that case, let me just kick back. No, 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 and no, kick no. Off don't, my I don't heels. We've just come out of ads and, and a go. song, oh, and you're like, "Can I go to the loo?" Now, I listen know. to this. I've got a lot going on right now. <laughs> we are very close to making the phone call for first class <laughs> of 50k. We are very close. Someone's going to clearly pick London, See, what a but they have an option. They have an option. They have an option to choose uh, Paris or an option to choose New York as well. That's coming up just after the news at five. Make sure you answer your phone if you've been on air with us, if you've registered, if you've been on air with your local Bricky guys or with Smallsy or Ben Lehman Bell or anyone. anyone. Nathan and Sean. Answer your phone. Jody and Hazy. Because we could be calling you (laughs) and telling you that you've won first class in 50K. That would be the best phone call. Ashley and Meltrasina. Yeah, great. We're playing playing Nova Tennis. Adam. Oh. Jermaine! Um, J- uh, Jermaine on Sundays! Is Jermaine, Jermaine in the Jermaine plane? It's Jermaine here. Oh, I can't see you in there. I haven't heard it's Jermaine here for a while. Yeah, he's getting a bit of a big yeah, head around the office. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. This is such a huge prize, though. I'm so excited. Playing his uh, voice on during weekdays in prime time, big head. Big head, big head. Oh, but listen big to him head. on the weekends. He's got a good voice. We love him. He's got a great <laughs> voice, and he's and he's getting a lot better. Every time he makes an air check, he always has a great shift after. Jermaine bought some. Oh, um, we all know how much Jermaine checks. loves <laughs> Yes. Michael Jackson and oh, Jermaine. I saw the videos. Finally, it was you made me so happy over the weekend, Jermaine. Jermaine finally got his um, Michael Jackson loafer shoes. Jermaine here. <laughs> Mondays, am those, I right? Those loafer Love videos them. do the opposite. They made me angry. They oh, made, really? Made... Why? Why? Hey, hey, guess what? I didn't see him. Or maybe you're not on the close friends. Oh. oh. <laughs> They didn't make me angry. Oh, no, it's it was just public. like Jermaine. What did, what did he do? Jackson. He, he, he was testing out his new Michael Jackson shoes. Can we doing just get Michael, over Jackson the Michael Jackson things? Thing? I thought I he'd be wearing them today. Can't we? It's Come bit, on. I know the biopic's about to come out. You know, trousers and a, and a loafer. It's yeah. quite a look and a white sock. There's so a many other artists to I choose that. from. You do. Yeah. In a loafer, loafer, though? No. no you, got, wear a, I, you wear a lacquer gazelle. He wears a sourdough loafer. I have a loafer. <laughs> I have a couple of loafers. I just don't think that they suit me. Well, they're I've shoe prisons. Wear them. Foot prisons. Foot aren't prisons. They? <laughs> yeah. No, loafers good for me with the suit. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you right. look good no in a socks. loafer in a suit on today's show. Talking, just chit chatting with Dave and Sil. I'll do that tomorrow. I might wear, I'll wear a loafer for you tomorrow. Oh, why? Not? You why don't I do that? I'll, set I'll my absolutely alarm and make be sure up. I'm up to watch you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> on the screen. screen. Let's have a look at the world of glossy, shall we? What's happening? It's my doppelganger, Ellen. Generous. Um, what is Ellen up to? Wow, how's is she, oh, is she going back on stand up? Uh, on stand up tour? Is that what I read? She has a new tour, Ellen's last stand up tour. 
Oh, it's called Ellen's Last Stand. Dot, 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 up to her. I mean, she's so fun. Oh, she's Hello. so fun. i got to say, her stand-up shows from the 90s were brilliant. Yeah, when she was nice. Yes, During the exactly. show, uh, she addressed the ending of her talk show saying that I got kicked out of show business and there are no mean, and there are no mean people in show business. What? Okay, anyway. Um, I think that's just the, she's told the joke and it's just maybe not translated in writing. Uh, this is the joke, is it? Let me try and do it again. <laughs> so, I got kicked out of show business and there are no mean people in show business. Huh? She's a brilliant observational comic when she's not, like not talking about herself. I, honestly, her stand-up sets, her, like two of her specials from the 90s and the early noughties are like part of my inspiration. I quite enjoyed, it was one of her last ones, or was it her last special? Was it out around Rona time? There was. A, I just thought there was a really good special that she, she had. Knows I found how to it very it. funny where people were maybe talking about her being nice or not. She was talking about how rich she is, which I just always enjoy when, like that. when Ricky Gervais yeah, does it. I think it's Husey. I just love it. I don't like I that. like when people in, embrace it and lean into it. You know? it's, a yeah. very American, it's a very American thing. I don't like how Ricky Gervais does it because it's not a very English thing. It's a very un-English thing. Everyone's saying Jimmy Carr's new special is very underwhelming too, which blows my mind because people I don't like him. I don't like him. It's boring as... Really? I like Neil Brennan's new special. That was good. excellent. (laughs) I can't even say any of the things I want to Um, say about You know the sad thing about Ellen, you said that she was your inspiration. I remember when I was a kid and I grew up, uh, like went to high school in the US, I I would read two of the lamest books ever. Paul Reiser's book, Couplehood. You know Paul Reiser from Mad About You? (laughs) Yeah. Don't even ask me. Oh my gosh. And Ellen's book, my point, and I do have one. 1995's bestseller. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, she was great back at the pre-talk show. Her. She was great. Okay, let's just agree. Pre-talk show, Ellen was awesome. Yes, pre-talk show, Ellen. Uh, now though, <laughs> yeah, okay. the talk show went for 25 years. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the next glossy, shall we? Oh, Travis Kelsey, what's he up to? I think it was an emu. I think it was an emu. He's got a very symmetrical face. He went clubbing in Vegas after attending a charity gala alongside Taylor Swift. Oh, yes, and it was um, uh, Patrick Mahomes' Mahomes gala or (laughs) something. How cool was that? That's right, how good. They must be exhausted, the two of them. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I went to see Wicked last night and I'm wrecked. Well, Taylor's um, rehearsing uh, her... Songs I'm guessing are tortured poets department songs for her new the new leg of the tour. And what about oh what about Wembley in London? They reckon's going to get a big chunk of those tunes. Oh. Okay, next glossy, please. What's happening? Oh my gosh, oh, Mike Myers. I was, yes. gonna, I was gonna say I have absolutely no idea who that is. Wow, well, so he... he just lives in my head, just looking like he does in Austin Powers. And he was on the red carpet because Nicole Kidman was giving this exceptional award. Oh, I We're very saw. proud of Nicole Kidman. Very proud of you, Nikki Kay. Uh, the first Australian to be awarded the prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award at the AFIs, but that's another story because Mike Myers addressed the possibility of a fourth, counted fourth. Austin Powers movie. <gasps> I can Groovy, baby. Deny the existence or non-existence of such a project. Does Austin still live in your heart? Do you think he has more story to tell? Absolutely. Austin. Uh, I haven't seen an Austin Powers in years, which tells me that I probably don't need another Austin Powers. It's time. I'm going to watch it. What about Beyonce was in one of them, wasn't she? (laughs) Yeah. She was. In Gold Member. She got What was her name? Foxy. Foxy Cleopatra. Foxy Cleopatra. That's right. Back when she was fun and she did stuff. Oh, and the song Work It Out that was all part of it. Oh, I love that. I sung that on Australian Idol. Did you? Oh, my gosh. Where have you gone, Joel? I'm right here. disappeared. Where have I got? No, I'm here. I'm here. Hi. Jermaine's getting a big head again. <laughs> Who's looking around with the studio I'm, cam? Whenever I play this stuff... <laughs> you're on the Jermaine plane. <laughs> yeah, he, he loses sight of his actual job. <laughs> last Glossy, before we get to the news and before we get to First Class of 50K, <gasps> what's happening here in the Last Glossy? Oh, Dolly, Dolly Parton. Oh, I do know this news. Is this anything to do with 9 to 5? Uh, it's close. It's wine to 5. What? Uh, what? Yes, she's reportedly set to release her own range of alcoholic drinks. Yes, wine to Dolly! Five. Yes, Dolly, we love you. We will support you, whatever you do, Dolly. 100%. All right, news. Then, Ooh. if you are in the running, if you're on the standby list. I'm so nervous. nervous. I need to go to a nervous wee. First class in 50K. Keep your phone on and answer. We're calling you from a oh. private number, okay? Go New York! Oh my goodness. I'm I nervous. Mean, where do you even it's start here. with this? What a prize. Well, this is a huge prize. Flying first class is a huge expense. And then on top of that, $50,000. And you're not just, you know, 
going on a four-hour flight. Mm-hmm. You're going possibly on an 18, 20-hour flight. Yeah, I know. I keep forgetting about the 50K part. I'm like, oh, the flight, I know. how heaven. And then you land and you got $50,000 to burn. Huge. Unless you spend some of it at the airport. But here's the great thing about flying oh, first yeah, class. Oh, yeah, get a big Toblerone. You get to go to the first class lounge. Because the greatest oh. thing about flying, even business class, is the holiday starts as soon as you walk into the airport. Yes, they make it so seamless. There's the, you, you get, like, express pass yeah. through the You don't have to check customs. in with everyone else. You get to go to the first class check-in, which there's, like, you know, four, no, never anyone at because there's only four first class seats generally on a plane yeah. or however many. You get to sit down sometimes and you check in. You go through the express security so you don't have to wait in those big lines with it's everyone. Weird. Isn't it the ironic? The most ironic thing is it's all designed to get you to the plane quicker when all you want to do when you're flying first class is make everything go for as long as possible. I know. Totally. Uh, but you oh, get to no, be you get smug. To, That's get, what's so great about absolutely. it. Absolutely. Smug <laughs> as hell. And you go through that line and then you get straight to the bar and you drink the good champagne in the first class lounge and then you get on the drinks on the plane. Yes. Oh, yeah, when you go into the lounge and they see you've got a first class ticket, they even pull out the better champagne from behind the bar for you. Well, no, you get to go in the other lounge, right, that no one else gets to go in. Oh, yes, there's that one too as well. You and a friend, first class, 50,000 bucks. To one of our three destinations, which we'll get to in a second. Paris, New York, or <clears throat> London. I Come have the on, number. New York. I've got a good feeling. I got the number here. You guys are cooked. It's Paris I'm for gonna sure. Call it. Stop. I'm going to call the number. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. Okay? Okay. Thanks, everyone. Come on, Stop New York. <laughs> Let's make the phone call. Hello. 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 Is that Kane? Yes. Oh, hi, Kane. It's Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel here. How are you going? Oh, wow. Straight into it. <laughs> hey, mate. How are you? <laughs> well, I'm a Kane Bean. Who else is going to be calling with a nasal voice like this? <laughs> I don't know. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you? Where I'm are, wonderful. Where, where in the world are you right now? Right now, I'm yeah. at work. What do you yeah. do for work? What do you do for a cross? I'm, I'm a spray painter. So, Spray paint. Oh, yeah, tag oh, my God, gnarly. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, sitting here breathing the fumes in all day, but uh, oh, I've just awesome. gone outside out of the booth, so yeah, all good. Now, here you're a, you're a tagger in Melbourne, right? You, you live in Melbourne? Yes, correct. Okay. Oh, snap, girlfriend. And are you, are you Ken, Ken? Sorry, to, you know, be obvious oh, it's, about it's, it. It's actually pronounced Kian, but yeah. Kian! Oh, I like that even more, Kian. Okay, well, Kian, are you, like, are you Kian to, you know, get overseas? Get overseas. Oh my God, Joel. <laughs> Do you have any idea why we're calling you at all, mate? Do you think? Any idea at this time of the day why we might be calling you today of all days, Kian? I do think so. All right, I, what I, is it? I you say it so. and we'll confirm or deny. Go. Uh, I'm going I'm to do a wild guess. First class in 50K. Yes. Well, well, well. You ding, are correct. You've won. You've won. You've won. Yes. You've, you've, you've won. What the freaking heck? You and a friend, what first class, heck? with fifty thousand dollars. What the heck? I feel like I'm ta- someone's taking the piss out of me. We're no, not we taking are being the piss. Deadly serious. We are Unless, dead of course, set serious. This is your AI drive show, <laughs> and we're and none of us are who we say no, we are. No, we're your AI drive show. AI. You've, ge- you've genuinely won Thank first class fifty k. Ken, have you ever flown first class? No, no, never. Oh my gosh. I've never flown business. I've never. Oh, <laughs> yes. Don't say that to Joel. Don't say he gets embarrassed on your behalf. Um, Kian, you're going to love it. Oh my gosh, the champagne, the caviar, the service. Oh, you get to lay down in the big bed and have your oh, own good. space on the plane. Oh, you can have what? a shower. And I, think I know. you are. When you ask for another <laughs> pillow, it's like you ask if you, you can breathe. You're I like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and you don't even have to ask for another drink. They just keep giving them to you. You just get constant refill for free. Yeah, yeah, skip the queue at customs. Why don't you tell us, though, where was the last t- place you flew to and what was the situation? You know, Name the airline. Uh, you can you can do that. Yeah, it was, look, it was before COVID. Oh, wow. Okay, I remember those times. I, I, I was somewhere local, like, I'm sure it was Queensland or Gold Coast or something. Um, and then sort of during COVID, my wife and I, we got married and we never, like, got the honeymoon that we wanted because <gasps> lock, lockdown. <laughs> Lockdown, like we couldn't go anywhere, we couldn't do anything, and bills pile up, things happen, life gets yeah. busy, and we just never really got one. So winning oh, this means that you it. and your wife get the chance to go on the honeymoon that you never got to have. I don't. I seriously still feel like this is a stitch up. I, <laughs> it's, don't I promise you, it's not a stitch up. We don't do that on this show. No, we, no, this is like no. the <laughs> ultimate honeymoon. 
Well, let's let's cue the drone. Let's cue the drone because here's your biggest decision yet today. We've talked a lot about this, and this is no time now. We've I think we've all put our cases forward, guys. So we don't need yes. to do this anymore. We're we're happy with whatever. We all know our team. Our I'm team chooses. New York. Black is team London. Ricky's team Paris. So the drone is on. You get to tell us now where. And this is you making a decision without checking with your wife. But we'll allow it. <laughs> and does he have to stick with it, or is this the? We are flying first class, winning fifty k. I think I think she'll be happy with whatever destination. So tell us where yeah. you'd like to go with your wife on the honeymoon that you never got to have. Out of Paris, well, New York, and London. Like considering we wanted to go to Paris for our honeymoon, I think I'll choose Paris. Yes! Paris! Yes! Kitty! Yes! yes! Oh! I'm so certain New York had it. I got married oh, no in way. Paris. No it way. is beautiful. <laughs> You're going to have the greatest time. First class it... and 50K. Congratulations. You deserve Thank it. Thank you so much. Is it as nice as what they say, Paris? Um, it's beautiful. It's not as good as London or New York. All no, I'm it's pretty good. <laughs> all, all, I'll, all I'll say is just at least try and speak to them, even if it sounds terrible. Speak to them in French and, and no, they'll, they'll respect you. speak very loud in English. They love that. And actually, you'll, yeah, go, you'll, you'll be going there that. because the Mona Lisa, I think, this week gets its own room. Did you hear about that? Oh. So, she be the diva. Yeah, I know. So go and see the Mona Lisa. Take a photo for us. You and your wife get to have that honeymoon of your dreams with $50,000 oh and first class airfares to boot. And the food. That is ridiculous. Guys, thank you so much. I just can't believe it. Absolute pleasure. And if you need any uh, recommendations and tips... Uh, about getting around Paris, just, you know, slide into my DMs, you know. Yeah. He's married, okay? He's married. And go I'm not hitting go, on the guy. Yes, I'm, I'm trying yes, to, I'm trying to help go, okay, him have a okay, great trip okay. in Paris. I know it very well. And okay. Ke- Keanu, okay. if you can, can you go tag our show name on um, Southern Cross Osteria's wall? That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, mate. Well done. And just like that, First Class 50K is done. But guess what? We move on pretty quick because it's commercial radio. So guess oh, what? get out. It's not happening. Guess is what? Is it? Oh, my gosh. It's almost made. Don't say it. Don't say anything. This Tomo- is one that makes me nervous. Stop saying it. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., you'll know what we're doing next. When it's May. Tomorrow morning, oh 6 a.m., you'll know what we're doing next. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Kian, we'll be going first class up in the sky. I mean, us all getting his name wrong the whole over time. and over. I felt so bad. <laughs> so bad. I've... He even corrected us, and I still got it wrong. I know, but we were too, Sorry, we were too pumped Kian. with the with what I'm was happening. I'm glad did, though. You know, because when people say my name wrong, I just let them go with it. <laughs> how do people get Joel wrong? Josh, I get a lot of Josh, oh. and I just, I just, I, I don't say anything. What about how I had Creasy's belt wrong in my phone for ten years? <gasps> I had oh you my. with an E as well. Well, this is oh not no, a... with no E, just a yes, Y. My <laughs> Sydney tickets for the Enmore Theatre, some of them have gone out with no E. <gasps> that was a gay gasp. I know. But I bought mine. LiveNation.com.au. But I bought mine to have an extra E. I know. <laughs> well, maybe someone's got extra E's and they've taken away. Because yeah. I, I, like, I always go I go to your show with an E under my belt. Yeah, I know. Because I don't talk fast enough. So, you know, it really speeds things well, up. Well, the last time I went to your show, Joel, I don't remember it. And that's your fault. <laughs> well, last time I went to Joel's show at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival and I swear there was like three of them on stage. And I went, this is a new twist. <laughs> I know. No, there were three at the end. Look, look, here's a little t- t- like, you know, like taster for the crowd, but I might do Taylor Swift Eras Tour. That goes for three and a half hours in three and a half minutes at the end of my show. <laughs> LiveNation.com.au for tickets. But congratulations, tickets. Kian. Uh, first class 50K to Paris with his <gasps> wife, the honeymoon. I can't believe Kian chose Paris. They didn't get to have... Okay. And I can't believe they haven't flown since COVID. I mean, your face when he said that. I know. I just, I forget. I, because we fly so much Because you were flying around illegally work. during COVID. <laughs> yeah. so. It wasn't. I was driving to those borders. So I was like, Anastasia Palaszczuk, let me in! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Kian and Mrs. Kian. And uh, tomorrow morning with your local Bricky guys, a uh, big announcement from 6 o'clock. You'll love it. I promise you'll love it. What's oh, the, my God. What's, what, after April, what's the month? May. Oh, it's how's it going, Mum? How is it going? <laughs> oh, no, because we have to do it every day. I get so nervous. Maybe this is the year I nail it. Anyway, the breakfast guys will announce it tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Announcing what? Guys. <laughs> we've done it three years in a row. Yes, Tim? <laughs> do you remember when you graduated from school? Do I ever? Yeah, it was best day ever. 13, 24, People... 10. Uh, jump on the phone and tell us your graduation song. Because uh, yes. we, we believe in here off air there's really only two. 
There's only two songs, and I'm pretty sure we're all on the same page. Are we all on the same page with well, that? Well, no, I don't know. What, is what, it? what year did you graduate, Joel? I graduated in 2007. Oh, my God. That's the year that Can't Touch It came out. Wow, you're a baby. I graduated I in 2002. Was, you? I, I, was I 99? Yeah, it would have been the 90s. Was I 99? I, 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 I was 18 in year 12. I was in, gra- in grade 7 when I graduated primary school. Tell Vitamin C's out. graduation song came out. Well, see, so that's that That was my graduation song. This song was the main one. Yeah. Yeah. And then tried... Time of Your Life. Oh, this was really mine. Good. Like, this these are mine. the only songs, this right? This is mine. These I, are the graduation can, songs. This one came out, like, the year up before I graduated. So this was, like... Peak Green Day, and also to have a new song, yeah, but also made perfect sense. And remember, like crying. Oh, I don't. Oh, this is me anyway. Crying, and everyone was signing each other's shirts oh. and like, um, like jer- jerseys and things like that. It was so. Good. I was the, I was the drama captain, so I was, I was in charge of like sort of the graduation ceremony. I did Viva Forever by Spice Girls. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, like, that's a good one. Yeah, I know. Viva especially at an all boys school. <laughs> I'll be waiting. A Tani. Yeah. What was yours, Tani? Oh, oh, yeah. David Bowie. It's not Viva Forever, but very good choice. Well, there is a TikToker named Patrick. Patrick. Hi, Pat. Who has posted a video um, kind of saying what the new graduation song is. Because Oh, swish, swish, swish. Oh, that's funny. I just feel like the iconic ones are Vitamin C Graduation and... Time of your life. Yes, but that's and, just. And here I he, feel like that stands forever. He is with his idea of what the new one is. Yeah. Okay. When I was a kid, it was either like that vitamin C song, like as we go on, we remember, <laughs> or so that better. like Green Day song that was like another turning point. Oh wow. Stuck in the road. <laughs> but what are kids using now to like get sad about the previous year and cry? What are they using? Because they, there is no better song than that. But there are there are suggestions. So in the comments yes. Oh, yes. Here of, we go. of this post, a lot of people, mm-hmm. like an overwhelming amount of people, mm-hmm. are saying Long Live by Taylor Swift Long is the next one. Oh, for like yeah. the next generation. And also it just gets better like after school. You're like, oh, I'm going to miss everyone. No, you're not. It just life gets better. You never see just any of those people on. ever. No, yes. no, no. Unless no. you're one of those people that's... Still friends with all of us. We're us. not. Um, Kelsey? Hello. Um, what was your song? Uh, the Tashing Bettyfield, Unwritten. Yes! Oh, oh great. The theme song for the hills. I love oh. this song. Oh, thank you, Kelsey. What year was this for you? Uh, 2012. Okay. 12! Come on, sing wow. in Tashing wow. Bettyfield. That's Gemma's year. Let's go. Release your inhibitions, feel the rain, the rain on your skin. All right, because I had the buttons, I'm yep. sorry. You got, I'm going to play oh, Viva you're gonna Forever. Do it. You're going to do it. Yes! Oh. Yes, do it! Because it feels right. It feels so right. It's a big day. Oh, it feels good. Yeah, do let's it, girlfriend. It. We're giving away first dice of 50k. Let's call it. I'm going to call it. Okay, let's call it. I hope you had the time. Thank you, Billy Joe and the gang. Oh, okay. A little, little trivia. The drummer of Green Bay. Um... Is a guy. Yes. Name. And his name is John Drumdo. Trey Cool. Is that right? Trey Cool. I'm pretty that. sure that's right. As in very cool. Yeah. Trey Cool. Hey, it's Trey. Trey Cool. I know someone called Trey, but he's a stylist. Oh. The makeup artist? Yes, you know Trey. You I know, know Trey. him. He's fabulous. Yeah. And he's gorgeous. Trey gay. Trey is gay. Trey is gay. Oh. Trey, Trey is so gay. Trey does Emrushiano's makeup. You'll be shocked. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I know God. Trey very Trey. well. Hello, Trey. Bring a tray. Mm. I'm having a party. Oh, I love a bring. What would you bring a tray? What would you oh, bring a tray I... of if I was throwing like just an impromptu party right now? I would bring a cob loaf. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> cob loaf. What would you bring My cob loaf this? is so good. Yeah? World famous? No, see, I don't say that my things that I cook are world famous. Well, nor do I. It's not my fault that the world loves my recipes and just doesn't stop banging on I about them. I haven't seen one person around the world rave about anything you've ever cooked. I'd and bring some spokes, smoked television. muscles, <laughs> smoked muscles and some sarkatars and some paramasalata. <laughs> oh, I'll get real okay. fishy with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what would you do, Joel? I'm doing pina coladas and um, hot dogs. 
They're bringing what a plate. Hot dogs? We okay. had a oh, well, super I'm hosting. Had... I'm hosting, so I can do a bit more if I want. Oh, yeah. I had a super Peanut bowl God. party once. Oh, yeah, I remember and, that. Um, no, not the one that we had. Another <laughs> one with with some other friends before I knew you actually. Oh wow! And Must have been I lame. made lame it was so lame. <laughs> I made chili dogs, and we all got so drunk. We had so much to drink. We started drinking in the morning when we were making like oh, buffalo God. wings and and chili we got with chili by... dogs like this. <laughs> yeah, you know, in my house, everything's real chilly. <laughs> um, and everyone by the end of the night was vomiting chili dogs and like squashing like the chili oh dog sausages God. down the drain. By the <laughs> oh my God. Ricky, once again, we have, you're a pop star. Some yeah. of these things you do not share. I'm loose. <laughs> you, you are, are loose. loose. Pop star. You are loose. Uh, when we come back, speaking yes, of loose. Like oh, there you go. Uh, soundtrack to your party dog, crazy. Oh. Uh, uh, we want to not into yoga. I know your fire. alien theory. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Oh, yes, this is about Area 51. I love. I've got to get you by tomorrow noon. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Yes. Yes, happy Monday. TGIM. Mad Monday, all right. TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. I'm a real tough kid. I can handle it. Happy Monday. They said, baby, gotta fake it till you Did you like me? I put up a photo of me and Matt Healy as the heads of the Torture Pilots Department yesterday on my social media. I like that. <laughs> what do you like? <laughs> um, <laughs> but a TikToker named... Oh, that's a different thing. That's my story I just did. Do you want to read it again? Patrick, no, you're going to really. talk about Patrick well, again? Well, just they both have Taylor Swift at the top. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm confused. Confused just uh, there. The Torture Parts Department has debuted at number one on the US Billboard charts. No shit. After selling 2.61 <laughs> million units. Now, wow. it's officially the second biggest album of all time on the Billboard 200. What was the first biggest debut? MDNA by Madonna? No. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just how, trying to guess. How long has the chart been in existence. Oh my God, you and your questions. Well, there's more people in the world You're now than there was like 30 the years ago. And I'm trying to give you an you informed answer. Questions. Okay, well, let's find that out for Ricky. Fun House by Pink. Nah. How? 1945. Long? There you go. That doesn't help. <laughs> no, I didn't think so. So hang on. So let me just re- rephrase this. So At least I'm know. guessing. It's officially, this is Taylor's, the second biggest debut of all time on the Billboard 200. The number one spot is still held by, which sold 3.48 million copies in its first week. That's nuts. Bionic by Christina Aguilera. No, no. Absolutely, no it's got to be someone like the, the Beatles or the Stones. Ed or, Sheeran? Oh, Ed 2015 Sheeran. was the year. Ed Sheeran's album from 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, Taylor Whatever that is. You're a funny boy. Justin Timberlake. Oh, no, Bruno it is Mars. Taylor. It is Taylor. Taylor is number two. No, it's not. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's Taylor Swift. Bruno Mars had songs out, just not Justin Timberlake. Anyone want to help? 13, 24, 10. No help in there, please, Gemma. 2015. So I will give you a prize. Chemist Warehouse voucher or something. I got married in 2015. What were the huge songs? Well, that was like good. around Uptown John Legend. Funk. That was around. Not John Legend. It wasn't Bruno Mars? No. I'll oh. say it if you say it and it's right, I'll say it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Oh, really? Will? You would do that for me? Oh my God, thank you so Is it a woman? <laughs> is it Bruno Mars? Not Bruno Mars. Is it Lady is it Gaga? No, it won't be Lady is it, Gaga. Is it, what, is it a woman? Is it Rihanna? It's either a man or a Beyonce. woman. Beyonce. No. Um, biggest so album. It feels like it's not Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. We've crossed off Ed Sheeran. Okay, if you say it, no, wait, 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 wait. So it's not a bad. If you say Ed Sheeran, it's Ed Sheeran. I'll say it's Ed Sheeran. Oh, I need to okay? sneeze again. It's not a band? <laughs> Two sex. It's not a band. It's an artist. Huh? Okay, an, oh, Maya's got it. Has Maya got oh, it or are you guessing? I just sneeze. Is it Ma- case of the X? What do you got? What is it? Who is it? 25. What is it? What is it? Adele 25. Oh, oh my God, my favourite. Why did I not know that? Your favourite. God, that you're full of it. I love Adele. Album. She wrote a song about me. What's your favourite? What's the f- your favourite song off that Congratulations, album? Congratulations, Maya. We'll give you a... Oh, hello. $150 voucher <laughs> to Chemist Warehouse. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. I love you, Maya. Oh, thanks, And you can Maya. buy yourself some, some cotton buds to stick in your ears during all of these songs. <laughs> oh, my God. Adele. How dare you? Adele is incredible. <laughs> I love cleaning She's my ears. She's incredible. <laughs> I know you do. I can't wait anyway, right now. let's go back to the number two album, the biggest album on the Billboard charts. Swiss for anyone? <laughs> Taylor and Post Malone. <laughs> Can I lick that? <laughs> oh. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Taylor Swift, Post Malone, Fortnite on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on this, our first class of 50K day. We've given it to Kian. 
Keon. Well done, Keon. Who is taking his wife to Paris. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so romantic. Yeah. I've got butterflies thinking about it. Can I just so test something excited. out? 13, 20, 4, 10, call us quickly. I just need two calls on the line. 13, 20, 4, 10. Just want to test something out. Okay. And then we'll talk we'll area just sit 51. Back. I'll just sit back, yeah, while you do this. I just want to test something out. You can be involved. <laughs> okay. Oh, your mic's on. Get involved. What are you up to tonight? What are you up to tonight? Me? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, what are you doing tonight? Media Watch Four Corners. Yeah, what are you going to wear? I might wear it. It's a bit, co- it's a bit cooler now, so I'll wear a long sleeve t shirt and my oh, shorts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. What are you going to oh, wear? I love the chill on my shoulder at night yeah. at the moment. Do you? Oh, yeah. What are you, you going to wear, Ricky? I don't wear nothing in bed. Oh, oh thank yeah. goodness. So no one has to look at that t shirt? <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, I was so your... close to swearing at uh, you. Okay, I want to try something. Let's just try something. Okay, you try. I got Nick and I got Amy. Hi, okay, guys. Let's see if Classics. this works. Hello. Okay. Nick, you got a hundred bucks to spend at Chemist Warehouse. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you very much. And Amy, well you've got a hundred dollar Show Calls Express gift card. Well done. Awesome, thank you. Okay, just testing that out because I just got that new run sheet that has that information on it. Oh, that's cute. So I can just we can just do that. I thought you were gonna oh, ask them if fun. they would have chosen somewhere yeah, to go for thought. first class and fifty K. No. Oh no. you don't I like thought you were gonna turn back. that into a game. You don't want to turn back time. Oh, thank you, Cher. Yeah. No. If thanks. I could reach the stars. I just want to make sure that that works. I give them all to you. Yeah, our phone line works. One three two four one zero. Get and in it. touch, fellas. Ready? I'll, I'll try and <laughs> okay. I'll try and sing share. Ready? Ready? Go. <laughs> You're a one man it? band. It's so it? cute. They <laughs> are incredible. Okay, now let's talk alien theories. Thirteen twenty four ten. They have to clearly mm. exist because there's billions of galaxies that we have not discovered yet. Yes, and Ricky Lee and I, obviously, you know, very pro Milky Way. Yeah, um, we're Milky Way girls. Yeah, yeah. I know. We, we, we get we're patriotic for the Milky Way. Yeah. Um, but a man named Georg. <laughs> I think that's how it's pronounced. J- or Jorg. J o e r g. Jorg. Jorge. Or Jorge. Is that how J O R J E? No, J O E R J. Sorry, no, J O E R G. Jorg. Jorg. I'm going to say Jorg. Don't you think it's Jorg? A man named Jorg created a website forum. You, you, you coming with me, Ricky? <laughs> I'm coming with you. He created a website forum, Dark yeah. Web. Yes, yes, where people could share their theories and thoughts about Area 51. What's his name again? Jorg. Don't you think that's how you'd... I, that's how I'd pronounce it. Hang on, wait, go again. What's it spelled? How's it spelled? J-O-E-R-G. Hwag. 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 I've got to get my pronunciations going, ready for I'm Eurovision. Going, I'm going with a soft, like a soft J, like an H. Hwag. <laughs> okay, so Hwag had his home raided by federal agents and he was probably like, Hwag! <laughs> and he's convinced that his forum revealed some of the secrets of area. 51. He was in bed at his home when two dozen agents <laughs> burst. <laughs> I don't know why I made this a sexy why story. Why have I made this a sexy is story? Sexy? This is a sexy Area what 51 was he, what story. What was that wearing? Uh, Hjorg. <laughs> Hjorg was in bed at his home when two dozen agents burst through the door and handcuffed him. Oh, they yeah. handed him a search warrant which accused him of conspiracy <laughs> and photographing defence installations. Agents seized four of his computers, several hard drives, phones, cameras, and a drone. <laughs> Area 51 is often associated as a hub for extraterrestrial activity. Oh, you've got an accent now. Beautiful work. Mm. And also, Area anyway, is quite I'm sexy. A big, isn't I'm it? a big. Area. Area is quite sexy. Like, what I'm area a... do you like to be touched in? Oh, oh show yeah. us the area. Show us your area. Touch me in my oh. Area 51. You won't be able to what find I'll it. What I'll tell you is don't go anywhere near this area if you're around me, okay? Really? Oh, really? It's not a very area. central area. That's, Why don't you like that area? No, as in it's too much. Oh, my goodness. Oh, really? Don't, don't, too much. Don't ever, like, don't, ever, don't ever come up behind me and whisper over my shoulder on this side, well, if like, you know what I'm saying. Like, whisper, he was in bed at his home and when two dozen agents burst through the door and handcuffed him. <laughs> and what was his name, Joel? Your... <laughs> Or your egg, or your egg, or your egg. I'm not sure, but one of those four has to be correct. This article <laughs> suggesting that there's up to two trillion galaxies. Yeah. Oh my God, Milky Way, Milky, Milky Way, Way, best of the Milky two trillion. Milky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. BB. I want you, I need you, oh God. With BT. I need Boone. 
these beautiful, Benson, beautiful, beautiful things, things that on Nova. You got Ben Lehman Bell very soon, and then also Smallsy has your ultimate Billie Eilish US experience. It's a fan experience. I love a fan. Mm. Experience. I imagine Smallsy and Billie are quite tight. I feel like Smallsy's tight with everyone. I know all those. Big guns. The big guns. Mm. Big guns. Yeah. You know Taylor. I know. That's why they Billy. sent him. That we're not. We're not trustworthy to be going and deal with these big stars. No, like, we would you ruin know, them. We sent me to Melissa McCarthy. I had a breakdown and cried in front of her. <laughs> 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 that was the last interview I did. You had a little present, didn't you? You had a little present. I did. A little cupcake present. That was last year. Uh, yeah, I wore the, the silly cupcake from um, Spy. They wanted which is to... a great film. Have you watched it yet, Blackers? I told you. Oh, I've watched so the good. first half of it. It's so oh he's was, saying the second it, half and it was funny funny than I thought yeah she's she's brilliant yeah she should never be nominated for an Oscar for something though whatever that <laughs> the was. bridesmaids <laughs> yes she should because comedy is very very no, hard and often overlooked when it comes to award season and it's and a lot of actors will tell you comedy's harder than drama uh not the <laughs> movie I was thinking of no she was nominated for an Oscar what was yeah, that the bridesmaids no it wasn't wasn't what was it for? No, she wasn't it was we some weird movie with um that British guy. Oh, okay, that one, yeah. You know that one. I'll read oh, about right. it in Rebel Wilson's book when it comes out. <laughs> oh, my God, that's never coming out. <laughs> God, hey. did, you, did you see the discourse over that book over the weekend? Yeah, my I gosh. did. I was, like, spare. I was, asked, I was having this conversation in the office today and actually with a journalist friend of mine. I, I like that there's still such clear, lovely rules with publishing, but, you know, you can tweet or put anything on Instagram that you want about anyone. I mean, sure, if it's yeah. wrong, they'll get you. Yeah. But why the, every country has such different publishing laws? Yeah. Whereas you can just tweet anything you want. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, so who'd write I a mean, book? I mean, they're trying to change Yawn. that, aren't they? Um, can I just say very quickly before we go, though, Vale to Cosmopolitan magazine. Oh, no! What? I used to love No, that. actually, I, I, re- I misread that. It's coming back. Oh, it is? <laughs> yeah. After a six-year hiatus. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. I was like, oh, no. Like, I was going to miss it. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Melissa was nominated for Bridesmaids. Um, was she? Cosmopol- yeah, she was. For an Oscar? Oscar? She was, yes. For an, an Oscar. Oscar for Bridesmaids? Because she was wow. gorgeous in it. Are you she was serious? Amazing. When she, she put her leg up high oh on the... Gosh. <laughs> That's yeah. my favourite. And what when was... she adopts all the puppies. What was the one gorgeous. I was thinking of then? What movie was I thinking of then? Um, the Hate can you with ever Sandra Bullock me? and Melissa McCarthy. Oh, Can You Ever Forgive Me? No, it turns out. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Cosmo's Cosmo coming did that, back. Did, did, they do, did they have a sealed section? Was that the one that did had the sealed, sealed section? section? Um, what was it called? A can... Oh, that was Smash Dolly, hits. Dolly Doctor. Smash oh! it. I remember actually. What was that? The thing that I got in here. That that was it. Must have been a dolly or something in here. And they, I get Rolling Stone. And we and we opened the the sealed section. It was all the different. Oh yeah, do you remember? It's for very the rude. Young people, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel, that's that's a bit young for the youngins. Absolutely, and sealed section. I reckon these young people will know how to get into a sealed section. Yeah, and the sealed yeah. section was like you know about the bases. I still don't get it. About the bases. Well, about, you, look, you know, the you, different... You, oh, my God. You, <laughs> so like first base, second base, third base. No, but just, you know, about what bases and then how to kiss and then not hmm. how to... Oh, did you, and did you learn lots from that? No, I, I learned from practice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go through them. His first base is kissing, right? Yes. Second base is touching, heavy petting. Mm-hmm. Third base is... Like, is... Yeah, yeah, is yeah. Is touching the area. Yeah. We, but with a certain And then body fourth part. base, like home run. Yeah. It doesn't have to be there, though. Third base, it can be, is, it can, third base it, is... Yeah, I want, I'm, what's the difference between third? I know we can't say it on air, mm. but what is the, the difference between third and fourth? Fourth is the full hog. Third, I'm going in. That's yeah, I'm going third, you need timber. to Can we get your... Timber, please? <laughs> uh, going Kesha. down. Thank you, Dan, I'm to finish the show. So that's fourth base. Going yeah. Third is... Is um, uh, an, physical an oral... touch. No, yeah, no. I, th- I think third is like an oral presentation, like you would give in class, oh. like you would give at school. Oh. I'm going to give an oral I presentation. I was very good at oral presentations. Yes. In oh my goodness. School. That's third. I'm, talk- That's I'm third. talking about in that way. Oh, I'm talking really? about in Were you class. You went to on the Gold Coast. I'd stand up in front of everyone <laughs> and give a wonderful oral presentation. <laughs> Have a nice <laughs> night. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, when you wake up in the morning, turn on Nova at 6 a.m. Announcements. About oh, what is no, to come to I'm replace not sleep tonight. first class in 50k. Congratulations again to Keen, Kian, and his wife. <laughs> no, you're not. Going to Paris. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.